Welcome to this tutorial on meta tags. Meta tags are basically tags embedded within the HTML of your page that aren't seen, but search engines often use them to actually search the page and figure out what content is on the page very easily. So, if you haven't been following along, uh, we've, been, uh, we've been building an interesting website with an index page, a pirate page, all that, and uh, it's, it's been cool. So, uh, I recommend that you view the other, uh, some of the other tutorials first, but you don't have to. Um, just have an HTML page ready to put some meta tags in. Here we have our, uh, our pirate, or our ninja page, which is labeled penguins and has the pirate page embedded in it, which doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. So, we don't have to make sense. We're just learning here, right? <laughs> okay. So, remember, we have the body of an HTML page and in the body goes any content that's actually going to go in the main uh, main website it's going to be shown on the page like all of this stuff all of this stuff on our ninja page here it's all in the body of the page uh, so meta tags don't actually go in the body so we're gonna put them in the head right all invisible elements uh, generally go in the head so we're gonna put in here uh, a meta tag now a meta tag is just like this Start meta and end meta. M E T A, right? Okay. So we have to add two attributes. Uh, we have to add name and content to these meta tags. So our name is going to be description. We're just going to provide search engines with a brief description of our page. The content then is going to be a random page about ninjas, penguins, and pirates made for fun okay so yeah not very useful it's not a very useful website but uh, this is just a description of of our site and now uh, we're gonna add another meta tag okay so meta name equals and this time we're gonna put in keywords these are some keywords that uh, search engines know are associated with your page content equals and then uh, we'll just put in some keywords uh, ninjas, comma, space, penguins, comma, space, pirates, comma, space, uh, page, HTML, uh, iframes, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it, I mean, we don't have a lot of, uh, exciting, probably iframes and HTML we don't need here, right, okay, just, just a few keywords, uh, and we're just going to end that meta tag, right? So we got start meta and end meta. And then uh, we have our, here we have our name, which is our description, right? The name of this meta tag is description. It's a description meta tag. And the content is, well, a random page about ninjas, penguins, and pirates made for fun. That's the description we want to categorize our, uh, our page here. Now, the uh, keywords are just uh, words that search engines recognize uh, just words that search engines recognize go with our page so we got like ninjas penguins pirates and page yeah very cool so now keep in mind that you don't want to just put in all kinds of irrelevant tags like Justin Bieber or uh, or Selena Gomez or who else is popular Adele I like Adele um, or I don't know what else is popular right now. Damian Walters. Okay, he's cool. He's he's really cool. But uh, you don't actually want to put in stuff that's not relevant to the page because a uh, that's really bad web etiquette. And uh, search engines are starting to figure out. Well, they've they've already figured out uh, and known for quite a while that a lot of sites do that, and uh, they've been able for a time to get uh, to get uh, hits that way. It's not an appropriate way to get hits at all, and uh, search engines are either taking one of two routes. They're either uh, no longer cataloging meta tags, so these don't even matter anymore, or they are uh, becoming smarter. So if you have a bunch of words in your keywords that, uh, if you have 
a bunch of words in your keywords that actually aren't related to your page. So like if we put Justin Bieber and Damian Walters and all that. I hate to use those two in the same sentence. Uh, no, just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry, Justin. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you, uh, if you start doing that using, uh, using irrelevant keywords what happens is search uh, some search engines are set up to figure that out and then BAM they derank you uh, and they uh, basically list you as an irresponsible site and you get lower in the search engine rankings now don't be paralyzed about choosing perfect keywords or anything like that that's that's not the point just just try to get some general keywords which are uh, good dis uh, good descriptive keywords for your page right just like we did here ninjas penguins pirates and page that's uh, those are pretty good keywords and uh, we have a description here so that's uh, if we save this and view it no, nothing's actually nothing's actually going to change on our page. I was messing with the color there, but uh, that's going to be later tutorials. But uh, nothing's actually going to change because the meta tags are in the actual source code of the page. If you view the source code, which is kind of fun to do, you can see our meta tags in there. So uh, just right click and hit view uh, view page source or whatever the equivalent would be in whatever br uh, web browser you're using and uh, well, there. Basically, we, we now have some meta tags in our page so search engines can more easily catalog it. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you in future tutorials. Cameron over and out.